All right, so I don't know. I mean, I just bought a new coin. It's up 17% in the new day. So we'll see what happens with this. Obviously, you guys probably remember it went up to $2.34 about two or three weeks ago. Um, so I do think this has potential to run up. And there was a day, that day went up like 200 or 300% in like 24 or 36 hours. Um, so it has potential to go up that high. Our next resistance, you know, if we hold 92 cents, which I think we do, um, there's a little bit of psychological support, I suppose, at a dollar. But 92 cents is really the was the bottom, and that's where we have a lot of support. Um, but to the upside, um, 80 cents would be the next resistance. If I'm sorry, 180. If you get through 180, your next the local top was 234. I think the resistance though was at 225. So those are the two levels to watch out for. Personally, I would be probably if it starts rallying up here, I'll probably put a sell order in at 180. And if there's a dip. Uh, you know, I might buy the dip if I see a strong bounce or if the MACD resets and it wants to rally again. Otherwise, I would not buy back in unless I saw a strong bounce and then we got back above that previous resistance. And then I'd probably buy back in at just above 180 um, and ride that to 225 or maybe two and or maybe I put a sell order at 220. That's the way the way. But those are the resistance levels to look out for on and you coin. I do think this look. I mean, short term, what you want to do is you want to hold $1.07. I mean, if you fall below that, it's probably done for tonight. Um, but I still think this thing hits 5 to $10 as well, around bare minimum.